so V and I bought our house late 2019, moved in February 2020, right before the pandemic hit. Um, so we had an entire year plus to work on our house. And now that we are about to rent it out for six months and go travel the world some, um, I thought that we would do a little Cribs episode before we go. So welcome to the crib. So we have the backyard here. We have the detached garage where our laundry is and our storage, like our bicycles, holiday stuff. We've got the dope swim spa that we love. We got that about a year ago now. So the swim spa is really cool. Um, it's not totally open right now, but it's actually like eight foot by 14 foot. So it's either a giant hot tub in the winter or a small pool in the summer. So we can use it all year round. And on the far side, it actually has two turbo jets. So you can swim in it like um, an infinity pool. I don't know. I think the infinity pool is the waterfall, um, but you get what I mean. It's very awesome. And um, it was way cheaper than you can see this like brick outlining around it so when we bought the house it had a filled in pool but with the way the cost of materials are rich right now which is insane uh, there was no way that we could have afforded to dig it out it had been buried for at least a decade uh, so we actually saw this swim spa um, and found swim spa manufacturers which is based out of Clearwater Beach but um, sends their swim spas all over the world we found them at the state fair and we just kept thinking about it and thinking about it and we're like actually let's just do that let's just do that and we are delighted with our decision we use it almost every single day picnic table that we made it's extra long we've got our sand pit um, under our lovers trees where we got married we also have like a super nice big side yard um, so when we have parties, we have like beer pong over here, corn hall. It was also the aisle that I walked down for our wedding. Then we have up here, we have our um, deck. So we've got the nice like European chaise lounger. Got some other chairs over here. Uh, this is where we survey our lands from. Uh, and it's just a really nice space to have right outside of our master bedroom, which we're about to check out. This is our master. I love these plants. They are my favorite plants that we have. Um, big king size bed, Put the dresser over there. We have V's walk-in closet. Um, all of our photos from when we backpack Europe. And these are from when we were babies. Uh, if you guys don't know much about our story, we actually dated for two months and then went in backpack Europe for three. Uh, so these are all of our photos from our first backpacking trip together. Actually, that one's from Russia, so kind of a combination. But our first helicopter ride, thank you, Aunt Sam. When we did a, put a lock on a bridge by the Notre Dame, Barcelona. I think that that is uh, Saint Etienne, but uh, yeah, I won't go through all of them. This is a piece from Mexico. Um, so this is a piece actually from New York, uh, but V is from former Yugoslavia. And I just think there can never be enough nudes in the house. And fully renovated master baths. So we've got his and her sinks, which are awesome. And we have all these great photos from our engagement shoot, which I just love this one, so cute. But the bathroom, um, fully renovated, like I said, I picked out all the tile, which I love. Um, more of our photos. Got one little insy window, but a um, really cool shower. And these pieces um, are from our engagement shoot um, where a couple of my best friends got together and helped us. So uh, Rebecca did my hair and makeup and Noelia took the photos. And these are actually the pre-photos for the actual engagement shoot. This is just while we were getting ready, um, but I love them so much and I think they look just perfect in the bathroom. Yeah, so as you can see, right outside of the master is where the deck is. And then here are some um, pieces in our room as well. This we actually got on our honeymoon in the DR. So that is our wedding date. This is a photo of us in Iceland. And um, that was an awesome trip. Shout out to mama and papa. And this is a piece that I got when I was in Peru. It's called a Pachamama and it is a fertility piece. 
Uh, not that I want to get pregnant right now, but someday I hope that the Pachamama will bless me. Dreamcatcher I found somewhere and a beautiful, really unique Dreamcatcher that my little sister Minnie got me. And this bedspread is my favorite bedspread I've ever seen. I actually um, pined after it for probably a couple years before I was like, I'm getting it. And um, yes, part of the reason this room is bright red is because it accented this bed so well. And this is my favorite room. This is the boudoir or my lady's sitting room which I just absolutely adore. I spent a lot of my time in here. I have some of my favorite college awards here. Um, a piece by Amanda from Noelia. Goodwill, love this. Um, got this head at just like a hair shop that didn't need it anymore. And so it's now my hat holder. Um, but again, most things are secondhand in here, um, except for like the curtains, the rug actually, um, this standing piece, and then I think also the shoe rack also, and then these lights. So I have them around this and they just stuck onto the door right there. And then I also have them around this, um, vintage art deco vanity. Um, oh, one of the lights has fallen. So I'll link those links in the description too. So this is another um, art piece that a friend of ours made for us, Jess, at Jess Delight on Instagram. It's us, a picture of us at the beach that she drew and made into a print. And we love that so much. Travel downstairs with us. Beautiful art piece that was a wedding gift from TJ. So this is our kitchen. It's kind of a galley style because it's like a hallway here. Um, but it's nice and it's big. Um, you can see the dining room, living room's over there. And then we walk into the study or foyer. Someone once told me, and I cannot remember who it was, um, but may have been my friends Colleen and or Dallas, that if they go into someone's house and they don't see books, they don't trust them. And that has always resonated with me. So these are actually, I have read most of the books here. I do love to read. Um, I like to hang on to my favorites. Um, so when we do our yard sale to move, I will, there's definitely some books that I'll be passing on, um, but not my favorite ones. So there's, there's some great finds in here. Um, and I also have uh, my drums. They need to be tuned up. They're missing. Um, one of them's missing one of these. Um, but I think it's important to also have music in your home. And photo of me and my family in Iceland. Got this beautiful fan of Barcelona, Venice. This is from Russia. This is from Pompeii. Nude art, never enough of that. Uh, and my parents brought me this piece and I believe it is a Chinese home protection emblem. Got like all these really cool knickknacks from our travels. Um, this is from Holland. This is my maiden name. My aunt gave me this. My friend Tekla made this beautiful piece for our wedding. Um, what else? Just some really cool vintage pieces. This traveling bar was my grandfather's. Um, so we use it just to like display some stuff. My penis whistle. I made this in college. The actual whistle flute part broke off, but I think it still semi works. There you go. Some more books over here. These are um, cups from the World Cup when we went. Little Russian mama doll. And uh, this is from Dubrovnik when we were there. And this is also from the 2016 Euro Cup when we were there. Um, and then this is from the 2020 uh, Super Bowl. Go Bucks. My books, we have our desk, standing desk. Two focal pieces of this room that are also brand new. So this um, double desk, one sitting desk and the other side a standing desk. Um, it was just 
absolutely perfect for the space needed it it's great for organization as you can see i have like all of my mailing stuff on the bottom um it's a little bit messy right now because again birthday party just had that uh, but then also this chair I um i love this art gallery wall it is one of my favorite things i've always loved spider-man i've always loved the beatles um this is something my aunt made for me when i was born thank you aunt jess this is a really cool piece that I got when V and his brother Dario and I went to Russia for the World Cup. This was actually like the beer cup holder from the bars at the stadiums. Like it folds up. These are the handles and the cups just sat in here. So I brought it home with me to make this really cool frame and I just love how it turned out. I think it's so cool. This we got when we were in Rome. Colosseum, love that, it's spray paint, it's really cool art. Um, this, these are from V's modeling days. Look at that man, hot. Then around this corner, we have our guest bathroom. Also lovely, hello. Um, and then right here is going to be our guest room. Super cute, queen size bed frame. I did buy new as well. Just so perfect with the Moulin Rouge theme. Lots of fun colors in the house. And then this is the second extra room that we are currently using as a home gym. So um, set up the pegboard wall, got my TV to stream my workouts, to record my workouts. And that's gonna be our beautiful Florida front yard. Okay, then on the other side of the kitchen, we have our dining room. I basically abhor a blank wall. <laughs> if there's not something on the wall, it makes me uncomfortable. Um, so I did put up these really cool terrariums. These are all very old and my succulents were not successful. So they all need to be replaced except for this one is like the prototype of my new design. Um, so you've got the moss, you've got the sand, um, there's some glitter in there as well. And then it has the hanging Spanish moss um, that's an air plant. So I just like kind of spray it once in a while and then I will be putting an air plant in the terrarium. So um, yeah, the succulents did not do well. These are super cheap plastic terrariums from Dollar Tree. Uh, so I don't think they're really meant to keep plants alive. Uh, I think they need that glass terrarium because that's the whole point. It collects the water and it, you know, drips down to the plant, blah, blah, blah. Um, but so, yeah, we're going to go with air plants next time. But I'll probably just be taking all of those down for the renters so they don't have to worry about my experiments. Really awesome rug down here. I love this one. Um, this one, as you see here, you can see better in the light. Um, so this we have as our dining room rug also the living room rug this also this just had literally all of the colors that i needed it matches both of my crazy bright accent walls um and so i love this and then also this chair folds backwards into like a twin size bed and uh, so i just want to have as much like seating in the living room that could also double as sleeping uh, there's yiran looking beautiful um yeah, again, this couch, second hand, all the artwork is like local or of friends. Then I just wanna show you the artwork that we have on this art gallery wall. Um, so this I got in Peru. It's one of my favorite pieces. It's actually on parchment paper. You can kind of see where it's like a little bit ripped on the edges from me not taking the best care of it. Um, a Brooklyn artist, um, I'm blanking on the name, I will remember. Um, my friend Nick Rujinski did these prints. Uh, this is from Ecuador. Um, it's a print um, of Los Manos de la Protesta. It's a famous art piece. Um, actually, that's Bolivia. Sorry, not Ecuador. Right? No. Bolivia, Ecuador, Peru. That's a piece from Peru. Um, a friend from college made this patty. Um, another Nick Rujinski print over there. So it's very um, female centric, celebrating sexuality. Have my like art hutch 
over here. This is like all of my art supplies, um, where I get crafty. We have some like special glasses. So just a couple of cool things in the hutch. Um, these are our photos from Key West. So this is actually our first ever trip together. So we've been dating a few weeks at this point. Um, and we went and visited my best friend Stein uh, in Key West while he was living there on his boat. And it was a wild time. Well, story time for another day. But here's my bouquet that I made for the wedding. Um, love this. And um, also this is a protest piece um, that I also purchased um, during the BLM movement or at the height of the BLM movement. The BLM movement is still happening as it should be until this happens. Justice. We have our cat. Say hi, Leonella. Hello. I'm gonna miss it. It's lovely. You did a great job decorating it, furnishing it, and oh, you did you show Leonella? I did. Yeah. Oh, that's the best part of the house. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, under the stair storage is in there. That is just where we keep like cleaning stuff, and then we have. Our beautiful screen and porch that we actually added onto the house. This wasn't originally here. Um, so we screened that in during the pandemic. Um, and we love this space. So. The outside of the house is one of the best parts. We love to entertain out here. It's an awesome space for parties. Um, again, the swim spa with the built in bar, which is awesome. We do have a grill, we don't use it that often but we have it. Um, and then over here, you can get in from the alleyway through this gate here. Uh, we still have toys left out from the party we had um, a couple weekends ago, I turned 30. So this is the beautiful side yard, all of this space. And you can see like the upstairs deck from here. There she is again, in a la. Such a precious little baby. She's our Maine Coon Mix adoptee. She's so sweet and fluffy. We love you. We will miss you. The sister is going to be watching Leonella while we're gone. So we are so grateful for that. Shout out to Tony and Brian and Liam. So walking back in from the porch, um, we have these really cool um, drawings that my best friend Amanda did for us. She's an incredibly talented artist and tattoo artist at Mirror Moth Tattoo on Instagram. Almost everything in this house furniture wise is secondhand. I did a lot of searching on Facebook Marketplace. It's probably my favorite place to find secondhand stuff, uh, but then some thrift stores uh, and also offer up occasionally, sometimes Craigslist. Craigslist. Uh, but I just, it was the cheapest and easiest and most fun and unique way to furnish our house. We came from a small condo, so we needed a lot of stuff um, to really make this house homey. So got a lot of really cool stuff that way. I highly recommend doing secondhand stuff. Like this rug, this giant leopard print rug, we, um, got it for $40, but when we looked at the tag on it, this is like a $2,000 rug. So this was a dope find. So I got bored one day and I decided to paint our door to give it kind of like a rustic finish. So I really like how it turned out. Um, and also added these shutters. The front of the house had very little curb appeal and we still have really not done anything with the yard, um, but it looks super cute. Hi, Chuck. <laughs> so that's it. Just the front of the house. And um, that was our Cribs tour, baby. Hope you enjoyed.